Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin. Wa usalli wa sallimu ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala ahlihi wa sabihi ajma'in. Amma ba'd. Uh, now we continue reading uh, uh, Tafsir al-Sa'di by Imam Abdurrahman bin Nasir al-Sa'di. We read Surah Al-Inshikhaq. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Ida as-sama'u nshakkat. When the heaven is straight asunder. وَعَدِنَ تَرْبِيَ وَهُكَتْ and حَكِنَتْ and to its lords as in truth it must as in truth it must نعم وَإِذَا الْأَرْضُ مُدَّتْ and when the earth is leveled وَعَلَكَتْ مَا فِيهَا وَتَقَلَّتْ and cast forth all that it contains and becomes empty وَعَدِنَ تَرْبِيَ وَهُكَتْ and حَكِنَتْ and to its lord as as in as 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 in truth it must And the other translation of Wadna uh, Tribia Hukat is unattentive to her, uh, unattentive to her Lord in fear. You know. Ya ayu al insan, inna ka kadhim ila Rabbi ka kadhan fa mulaqihi. Oh, then, oh, oh man, who, who toils constantly until you meet your Lord, will surely see the outcome of your deeds. فَأَمَّا مَنْ أُوْتِيَ كِتَابَهُ بِيَمِينِهِ As for the one who is given his record of deeds in his right hand. فَصُوفَ يُحَسَبُ إِسَابًا يَسِيرًا He will have an easy reckoning. وَيَنْقَلَبِ لِعَلِهِ مَسْرُورًا And he will go back to his family in the paradise rejoicing. وَأَمَّا مَنْ أُوْتِيَ كِتَابَهُ وَرَعَ دَارِهِ As for one who is given his record of deeds from his back. فَصُوفَ يَدْعُو ثُبُورًا He will call out wishing for dead. وَيَسْلَى سَعِيرًا And he will enter the raging fire. إِنَّهُ كَانَ فِي أَهْلِهِ مَسْرُورًا He lived rejoicing among his family. إِنَّهُ دَنَّ أَلَّا يَهُورًا Indeed he thought that he will never return to his Lord. بَلَا إِنَّ رَبَّهُ كَانَ بِهِ بَسِيرًا Nay, he will indeed return to him for his Lord was always watching him. Here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala explains what will happen on the day of resurrection of changes to mighty heavenly bodies. When the heaven is rent asunder, that is, when it is split apart, it is that and it is that and all heavenly bodies are scattered, and the sun and moon cease to shine, and hearkens unto its Lord, that is, it heeds his command and listens out of out for what he will say. And in truth it must do so, for it is subjugated and under the control of a mighty sovereign whose command is not to be disobeyed and whose rule is not to be opposed. And when the earth is leveled, that is, it will be shaken and its mountains will be scattered away. All structures or landmarks will be made to tumble down. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will spread it like a leather man, like a leather mat, until it becomes very wide and spacious in order to accommodate all those who will stand before him. Despite their huge numbers, that it will become a smooth, leveled plain in which they will see no depression or elevation, and cast forth all that it contains of the dead and of treasures, and becomes empty. The trumpet will be sounded, and the dead will come forth from their graves to the surface of the earth. The earth will bring forth its, its measures, its treasures, until they become like great columns, which people will be see, which will be, which, which people will see and will, and will regret what they used to compete for. And hearkens unto its Lord, and in, as in truth it must. Then, O oh man, who toils constantly until you meet your Lord, that is, you are, tro you are, tro are toiling, doing good or bad deeds, until you meet your Lord. Then, on the day of resurrection, Allah will suddenly requite you on the basis on the basis of the of, of grace if you are among the blessed, or on basis of justice if you are among the doomed. Hence, they ma he mentions the details of the requital. As for the one who is given his record of deeds in his right hand. This refers to the to the to the blessed. Uh, <laughs> we will have an easy recording, which will be an easy discussion of his deeds of his deeds before Allah. Allah will make him admit his sins until when he thinks that he is doomed. Allah Allah Subhanahu wa Taala will say to him, "I conceal them for you in the previous world, and I will conceal for them for you today." Bukhari. 
and he will go back to his family in paradise rejoicing because he has been saved from punishment and has attained reward as for the one who is given his record of deeds from behind his back that is in his left hand from behind he will in um, he will come out wishing for death because of disgrace and shame and what he will he when what he, he will find in his record of deeds that he sent forth and did not repent from and he will enter the raging fire that is the raging fire will surround him on all sides there and he will suffer different kinds of punishment there that is because in this world he lived rejoicing among his family and there is a ration never crossed his mind he did evil evil deeds and never thought that he will be brought back to his lord and be made to stand before him nay he will indeed return to him for his lord was always watching him so it's not appropriate for Allah to leave him without purpose, with no commands or prohibitions, and to reward, and to reward, and no reward or punishment. Fala be shafak by the swear by the twilight, wal layli wa wasak by the night and what it brings together, wal kamari the tasak and by the moon when it's full, la tarkabunna tabakan an tabak and you will surely progress from stage to stage. فَمَا لَهُمْ لَا يُؤْمِنُونَ They notice the matter with them that they do not believe. وَإِذَا قُرِيَ عَلَيْهِمُ الْقُرْآنُ لَا يَسْجُدُونَ That then, and when the Quran is recited to them, they do not prostrate unto Allah. بَلِ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا يُكَدِّبُونَ Rather those who disbelieve insist on rejecting the Quran. وَاللَّهُ عَلَمْ بِمَا يُؤْنَ uh, but Allah knows best what they harbor in their hearts of ill feelings. Uh, so give them the tidings of a painful punishment. Uh, but those who believe and do righteous deeds will have, will have a never ending reward. Here Allah swears by the, by the signs of the night. He swears by the toilet which is in the remnant of sunlight that signals or the onset of, the, of, of night. And by the night and the what he brings together, of animals and other things. And by the moon when it is full, that is when the light of the moon is, 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 is at its brightest. When it is, it is full, that is when, it's at, when, it, when it is at its most beautiful and is of the greatest benefit. What is attested by this or this, you, O humankind, will surely progress from stage to stage, from stage to stage. That is, will pass through several stages, from a sperm drop to clinging cloth to a lump of flesh, until the soul is bred into the developing fetus. Then he becomes an infant and child. Then he reaches the age of discarment. Then he becomes accountable and, and subject to commands and prohibitions. Then after that he dies, then he will be resected and requited for his deed. This various stage that, hum, that the human being goes through indicates that Allah alone is deserving of worship, is to be affirmed as one and is in control of his eyes, of his slaves, by his wisdom and mercy, and that the human being is in need and is helpless, subject to the control of the Almighty, the Most Merciful. Yet despite that, many people do not believe, and when the Quran is read to them, they do not prostrate to Allah, that is, they do not simply to the Quran or comply with its commands and prohibitions. Rather, those who disbelieve insist on rejecting the Quran, that is, they stubbornly rejected the truth after it has become clear, so it should come as no surprise that they do not believe and do not submit to the Quran, for the one who has stubbornly rejected rejects the truth is a hopeless, is a, is a hopeless case. But Allah knows best what they harbor in their hearts of, of, of ill feelings. That is when they do not when uh, they, uh, that is what they do and intend in secret. For Allah knows what they what they conceal in their hearts and what they do openly. And He will require them for their deeds. And hence He says, so give them the tidings of a painful punishment. The word translated here as giving tidings, uh, Bashara, reflect the fact that tidings have an effect on the skin, Bashara, showing either happiness or distress. This is how most people are. They reject the Quran and do not believe in it. But among humankind are some whom Allah has guided, so they believe in Allah and accept, the, accept what the messengers brought. They believe and do righteous deeds. It is they who 
uh, will have a never ending reward that is one one the one that will never cease but it is an eternal reward such as no eye has seen and no ear has had uh, no has no honor has it ever crossed the mind of a man this is the end of the commentary on Surah al Shikak. All praise and thanks are for Allah. And may the, and may the praise and peace of Allah be upon Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, his family and his companions abundantly until the day of judgment.